Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23, here. We're joining me back for the app Choices, Crown on the Flame, Book 1, Chapter 12, The Labyrinth. Now playing as Kenna. You and your companions are in the Technocrats' for Labyrinth with Whitlock, a boy you've just met outside the maze. You walk through uneven sand, the metal walls tower above you, and the warm wind ruffles your hair. Well, the door sealed behind us. There is no turning back now. Onward it is. Remember, everyone, be careful of traps. Puzzles. They're puzzles. No traps, really. Not really. Anyway, from what I've heard, the technocrats value logic above all else. No, so presumably, to pass through the maze, you'd have to be, well, logical. The five of you turn into a long hallway. These passages all look the same. How do we know we haven't been here before? I don't think we have. Look, no footprints in the sand. See, Val? We're making progress. You continue forward. Hmm. Perfectly flat sand, tall metal walls, and warm wind blowing. That is old. I was just thinking the same thing. There's something strange about the... Sand. It's too smooth. Precisely. If there is a trap here, we must be careful. Everyone, freeze! Each person stops where they are, but Whitlock wobbles on his feet. Uh-oh. And falls over. You hear a click. Ugh! Whitlock, are you alright? I'm fine, but, um, I think I may have triggered a switch. The door at both ends of the corridor slams shut, and the walls clo begin to close in. We've set off a trap! We'll be crushed! Don't panic. There must be a way out of here. What do you do? Examine the walls, jam the doors, and try and scale the walls, try and open the door. Leon, help me with this door. Raiden, Willock, go try the other one. You and Leon grab the bottom edge of the door, struggling to lift it. Blessed! This damn thing won't move an inch. This one is stuck too. We can't get it open. Examine the walls, jam the doors. Examine the walls. Don't just stand there. Help me with this door. There's something we're missing. There has to be some way to... There! That panel looks like it opens. You run into one of the walls, prying open the panel to reveal a mass of gears and pistons inside. That must be how we stop it, but we'll have to figure out how the gears are working. There's no time. I have to jam the machinery. You draw your weapons and ram into the machinery with all of your might. Ah! With a horrible screech, the walls slowly grind to a halt. Both doors slide open. Well, it seems to have worked. Excellent work, Kenna. Thank you. That was quick thinking, Kenna. Maybe now, not how I would have done it, but I can't argue with the results. You yank your weapon free from the mangled gears. Let's keep moving. I don't trust these blasted doors to stay open. Wait. What's this? There's an inscription on the wall here, next to the door. What's it say? I'm as light as a feather, but no matter how strong, no one can hold me for long. Why leave that here inside a deadly trap? To God it, these ticks must be important, somehow. Another puzzle, perhaps? I don't know about you, but I'm not used to puzzles trying to kill me. We're gonna make it through this place. We've got to. Now, 
playing as Dominic. A few days after Hex arrives at Storm Moment, you and Rose hide in the shadows of the courtyard while Hex Cannon is paraded out. At last, it's complete. I've never seen a cannon like that. How do you suppose it works? I've got a bad feeling. We're about to find out. Bring the prisoner. Two guards unlock this cage and drag her out to the cannon. Sai <laughs> struggles against the guards, smashing one in the helmet with her manacles. Oh, you little! The guard knees Sai in the stomach. Ugh. Those bastards! You feel your hands growing hot as rage wells inside you. I need to control the fire. You clench your fist, willing yourself to be calm. Dom, are you okay? You're... you're not going to, um... It's alright, Rose. I'm in control. Over in the courtyard, the two guards remove size manacles and quickly lock her hands inside the cannon barrel. Now, I think it's time for a little demonstration, hmm? I thought you would never ask. Where is our kiss of honor? Martel emerges from the castle. Behind him walks a soldier, bound in chains, escorted by several guards. Oh no, it's Duncan, the former weapons master. He's the one X replaced. Martel chains the man to the wall of the courtyard. Comfortable. Don't worry. You don't have to stand here for too long. Please. There's been a mistake. Those weapons were my best work. I swear. I, I think I'm gonna be sick. He made weapons for Prince Marco. But he deserves what he gets. Nobody deserves this. Even criminals deserve better than this. How can they watch this? How can they enjoy this? Duncan struggles against his bonds. My prince, I beg of you, have mercy! Sire, don't you find this a bit distasteful? This man served you loyally for many years. Thought you were made of sterner stuff, Helen. He is a very good surface. Don't change the fact that he failed me. Hex, show all these people the price of failure. Fire! Now, if you please, you're ruining my drama. I will ruin you. I'm sorry. What was that? It couldn't have possibly been a threat, could it? Because if you'll remember... I know exactly where to find your idyllic little village. And I have the means to turn your home and everyone you love into a bloody smear on the mountainside, down to the last child. Blue flames begin to ripple down Sai's arms. Machinery hums to life, growing louder as the cannon feeds on Sai's power. With a deafening roar, a huge blue fireball erupts from the end of the cannon. No! Duncan screams, her silence as the fireball hits, leaving nothing but a charred black wall behind. Magnificent, my lady! Are you an artist? Flatterer. It's perfect. That runt of a queen won't know a teeter. Did you see that? We we have to do something about this. You're right. But we can't talk here. Let's go. You and Rose leave the courtyard and hurry to your room. I can't believe it. There's someone else like me. With my power over fire. And that's not all. We have the same brand. If we both share this firebrand, and we both have the ability to wield fire, we must be connected. She knows something about where I came from. 
She can help me control the flames? I know it! This is my chance to learn who I truly am, where I came from. We've got to break her out! Rose reaches out and squeezes her hand. I understand, Dom, and I'm with you. Even if Sai didn't share your powers, I couldn't bear to see someone so mistreated. Besides, freeing her is going to be the key to taking the castle. Agreed. The cannon would obliterate an army. The cannon's going to have any chance of retaking Stormhold. We have to make sure Marco can't use it. Just then, the door to your room swings open, and Tristan storms in. I saw you in the courtyard. I heard you plotting just now. Tristan, we were just... I heard what you're going to do. Whatever plan you come up with, it's not going to work. You've seen what the weapon can do. There's no way Kinna's army can stand against it, much less the three of us. All we can do is keep our heads down and survive. That's what a coward would say, Tristan. It's what Mother always said, and we never listen. Look where that got us. I'm not going to stand by why horrible things happen. Don't be stupid, Rose. You're not doing this. I won't let you. I don't care what you want to do. You're both acting like fools. I know you're trying to protect your family, but you have to let Rose live her own life. Oh, so I should just let you two throw your lives away? I should respect your decisions to die for nothing. I'd rather die trying to make a difference than cringe and tiptoe around a cruel tyrant until he decides to kill me on a whim. That's dying for nothing. Rose, get out. Tristan's face flushes bright red. You regret this, I swear it. Leave, slamming the door behind him. I can't believe I, I did that. Look at me, I'm, I'm shaking. You are amazing. Did you really mean it? Every word, Dom. I can't believe Tristan said those things to me. Rose, I'm gonna punch him for you. I mean, he didn't mean it, he's just scared. never seen Tristan like this before. He's usually so impulsive and reckless, always ready to follow you anywhere. I don't think he ever truly realized how dangerous it was to work against Prince Marco. It must be hard for Tristan on Mother's Gone. He's scared he's going to lose me too. And even so, I'm not going to let him hold me back anymore. And you shouldn't either. From now on, we're going to do what we want, no matter what Tristan thinks. Rose smiles at you, blush rising in her cheeks and as her eyes linger on yours. Well, I want you to stay the night to get some rest. Diamondwald. Oh, well, I suppose it is getting a bit late. It is, and I've got a lot on my mind. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Rose leaves, clearly disappointed. The door closes softly behind you. You collapse on your narrow mattress, a hundred troubled thoughts swirling in your head. Now playing as Kenneth, you and your companions continue through the twisting passages of the labyrinth. So much rust on these walls. How long has this labyrinth been here? Hmm. Judging by the levels of oxidation, taking into account the low moisture in the environment, I'd estimate a century, maybe even two, depending on the exact alloy covering these walls. Impossible. Twenty years ago, no one had ever heard of the technocrats. How could they have stayed hidden so long? Someone would have found them. It's not hard to disappear if you know what you're doing. They had an entire desert to disappear into. So much machinery, I can't even begin 
to guess what most of it is for. Like that gear up there on the wall. What do you suppose those symbols mean? Hmm. I'd say salve, but then no clue what the other three mean. They don't belong to any language I know, but someone put them there for a reason. Val reaches up and tugs at the gear. Don't tell me you're trying to steal that. Just seeing how securely it's attached to very actually. Val slaps the gear and it spins counterclockwise. I say we move on. Everything in this maze is trying to kill us in some way or another. No point in waiting around for it. Look at that gear again. Yes. Well, for slapping it around, it didn't move. You reach a place where the three paths meet. At the entrance to each, you see a symbol etched in the wall. We should choose... Hmm. So, S was where we're coming from. This was at the north. This was at the east. This was at the west. Let's go east. You wander through the corridors, but can't find any more symbols to follow. I think we've gotten off track. Let's recheck our steps. Okay, look at the gear again. Oh, okay. Oh, this one wasn't the other one. Okay. Reach a place where the three pass meet. At the entrance to each, you see a symbol etched into the wall. We should choose... Let's try this one, since it's not on the gear. You wander through the corridors, but can't find any more symbols to follow. I think we've gotten off track. Let's retrace our steps. Hmm, perhaps the symbols should be read in order. Counterclockwise, starting from the top of the gear where the broken tooth is. Okay, so let's go with... We should choose... Right, we'll go down. Come on, this way. You sound awfully confident. I think I've got this thing figured out. Lead the way. As you reach a second crossroads, you see a new set of symbols. I think we should go. P or K? K? Let's go with B then. Because XX isn't on there. I think this is the right path. Agreed. Are you sure we aren't going in circles? Have some faith. Reach a third crossroads mark with them. more symbols. The next symbol should be. Let's try this. You lead your companions down the corridor. I believe you've solved the puzzle. We're not out of the maze yet. You approach the fourth crossroads. I think we should pick the K. Follow me. If I'm right, this should be the last one. And if you're wrong, we die down here slowly from starvation. Then I better not be wrong. You turn the final corner. Looks like we finally made it out! You come face to face with a towering metal door. An array of levers stick out at a chest height, and there's a small inscription over them. Your final test awaits. But the ominous, anything could be behind the door. He is hoping it's something I can hit. You examine the levers. They're th they all have letters on them. There must be a code, some kind of password to open the door. A password? How the hell are we supposed to know what the password is? I have an idea. I bet it has to do with the... Hmm. So, symbols on the gear 
right away found oxidation and moisture. I don't think I see how that would work. Actually, do you think could this be related to the riddle we found earlier? That explain why someone would bother scratching that nonsense into the wall. How'd that thing go? I'm as light as a feather, but no matter how strong, no one can hold me for long. Hmm. And the password must be... I'm as light as a feather. I have no clue. I'm as light as a feather, but no, how long, no matter how strong you are, you can't hold me for long. Wait. Levers pop back in their starting positions, but the door remains closed. Guess that wasn't right. What did the riddle say again? Maybe I should call the riddle. Try and putting the password. Okay, let's try. I'm as light as a feather, but no matter how strong, no one can hold me for long. Hmm. Oxygen? Uh, I guess that wasn't right. What did the riddle say again? I, I already know what the riddle says. <sighs> light? Hmm. Something light, but we can't hold it for long. Try breath. Oh. Yeah, he's clever. What was that sound? Nothing good, Highness. Definitely not good. Get behind me, all of you, now! The door disappears into the sandy floor, revealing a towering figure standing on the other side. A mechatar. <laughs> Run! Beating the traps, or rather puzzles, take the rats for Rebeleth, overall progress, and fairly good. Except for that end riddle, I hate riddles. I'm gonna be honest, I just hate riddles. Alright, so we're 18 to 30, prestige is a little low. Um, hopefully, can get that up sometime, but unfortunately, most of her choices require diamonds, because I'm guaranteeing if we had more prestige, well, we would have used more diamonds, now wouldn't we? So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I uh, do thank you for hanging in there while I was sick for those who are loyal and still watching. And until next time, have a good one, folks.